does this administration try to revamp its image? Two and a half months in, you've got this Yates story today. You've got other things going on. You've got Russia. You've got you've got wiretap, and you've got no. We don't have that. You you you. you, you I know. On Capitol Hill. No, no, I, I get it. But you keep. I I've said it from the day that I got here until whatever, that there is no connection. You've got Russia. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. Welcome back to the 11th Hour. Sean Spicer got increasingly hostile with reporters in the briefing room today. Hear a bit more of the back and forth with April Ryan there of American Urban Radio Networks. At some point, report the facts. The facts are that every single person who has been briefed on this subject has come away with the same conclusion. Republican, Democrat, so I'm sorry that that disgusts you. You're shaking your head. I appreciate it, but, but, I, okay, but understand this, that at some point, the facts are what they are. And every single person who has been briefed on this situation with respect to the, the situation with Russia, Republican, Democrat, Obama appointee, career, have all come to the same conclusion. At some point, April, you're going to have to take no for an answer with respect to whether or not there was collusion. It seems like you're hell-bent on trying to make sure that whatever image you want to tell about this White House stays, because at the end of the day, the let me answer. That I understand. I okay, but you know what? You're asking me a question, and I'm going to answer it, which is the president, I'm sorry, please stop shaking your head again. There was plenty of reaction to that. Maggie Haberman of the New York Times said on Twitter, quote, stop shaking your head again, Spicer lectures April Ryan, who is a grown woman. For her part, April Ryan herself <laughs> simply replied, Lord, Michael, Biana, Charlie, back with me. Uh, uh, Michael, this will go to you in Washington. You're in Washington. Yeah. You should have to bear uh, an undue portion of the burden for this. God help me. I'm looking at the Associated Press tonight. They don't do this often, but they put out an advisory. AP fact check. Spicer says case closed on Russia. It's not. They go on to point out FBI investigation, two committees investigating it. You just don't see this kind of thing. On top of today's performance, talk about Spicer's credibility right now. Well, Brian, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's selling pretty cheap right now. Uh, I, I mean, look, he he just seems to speak for pure. Um, it's kind of brute force effect, you know. Um, uh, he he has this wonderful tactic where a reporter starts asking a question and he jumps on the reporter midway, and when the reporter tries to regain the floor to finish their question, he says, "Hold on, hold on, hold on," as though he was the one who had started out. Uh, uh, saying something. I mean, it's it's a kind of a brute force, um, really slightly bullying tactic that he uses. And substantively, um, he doesn't really seem to care that much uh, about the veracity of a lot of what he's saying. I mean, it's just patently uh, ridiculous to say uh, that the press corps has Russia and the White House doesn't have Russia, and that it's about uh, salad dressing when James Comey, the director of the FBI, testifies that there is an investigation into the question of possible coordination between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. I mean, that's an astonishingly serious, major, world historical thing, and One Spicer is just pretending it's some problem that April Ryan has. <laughs> Only Charlie and I are old enough to remember Ron Ziegler and the tension <laughs> back then, right. that famous scene where Nixon turns yeah. around and shoves right. his press secretary by the shoulders. Yes. Nice to see you guys getting along. It's feeling a little bit like that era oh, tension. Th that was a kind and gentler era. You know, I guess so. You know, when, when this uh, press secretary gig, uh, you know, run, runs out for him, he, he could actually go and do play himself on Saturday Night Live. I mean, yeah. he's actually become a caricature <laughs> of himself. But in order to understand why he's doing what he's doing, why he doesn't care about the credibility, why he is so contentious, keep in mind Sean Spicer has an audience of one. Audience of he one. He is playing to Donald Trump. He is doing exactly what his master wants him to do. This combativeness, this, this you know, this willingness and readiness to engage the reporter, to interrupt the reporter. You know, so this is what he wants to do is he wants to go back, you know, af after these briefings and have, you know, the president say that was great. You know, you know, you need to smash him in the face. You need to be more aggressive. So, that, you know, um, right now, I don't think that Sean Spicer evaluates himself on whether or not he is um, credible, whether or not he has advanced the the nation's understanding of what's going on. Or, you know, what he wants to you know, do is he wants to make his boss. And happy. look, Sean watches these programs. He yeah. reads what's been written yeah. about him. It's as if he's venting at the press corps because yeah. obviously he can't vent or second guess right. the president. And, you know. 
know, for what it's worth, I've eaten Russian food my entire life. It's never been accompanied by Russian dressing. Explain to the folks your personal and, story and, so and they know what you're talking yes. about. I'm, I'm this is from our the former Russian Soviet connection. Union, yes. Uh, I speak uh, Russian. <laughs> I was born in Moldova. Yeah. So I know a lot about Russia. I don't know quite as many <laughs> Russians as the president and his team <laughs> does, but I know many, and I've eaten lots of Russian dishes. None of them have been topped by Russian dressing. And so another the, credibility <laughs> knock. Isn't it the, the adage that, you know, never let them see you sweat? Yeah. I mean, you know, not not only is Sean Spicer, you know, letting the country know that this is getting under their skin, but I mean, that 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 is it 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 it, it doesn't inspire confidence and it does not do what he wants to have happen, which is to go away. These kinds of of incidents actually just ratchet it up more. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.